Hello friends, warm welcome in this video that is the mechanism of a multi-substrate enzyme catalyzed reactions. Friends, most of the biochemical reactions involves at least two substrates. So it is necessary to consider the kinetics of such reactions. This is a vast and extremely complex topic and for reasons of simplicity we will restrict our discussion to some specific examples of a two substrate two product that is BB reactions. The two substrate two product BB reactions are often transfer reactions of one type or another including oxidation reduction reactions and can be best represented as AX plus B gives BX plus A. These reactions mechanism may be sequential or non-sequential. The sequential reactions or single displacement reactions consist of linked reactions in which the product of the first reaction becomes the substrate of a second reaction. In sequential reactions both substrate bind to the enzyme to form a ternary complex before first product is formed. For example, here the example is of a lactate dehydrogenase. Here the enzyme first bound with NADH. This NADH bound enzyme on the product ENADH to which the another substrate bind that is pyruvate will bind and form ENADH pyruvate complex. Then it will be converted into E lactate NAD plus. Then lactate will leave. Then again NAD will leave and finally enzyme will be separated. It means that in this reaction the product of first reaction becomes the substrate of a second reaction. On contrary, non-sequential or double displacement mechanism does not require both substrate bind before releasing the first product. The example of this is peroxidase. So we will see the three distinct mechanism by which multi-substrate enzyme catalyzer reactions are taking place. So the very first reaction is ping pong BB mechanism. This is an example of a non-sequential mechanism or double displacement mechanism. Consider in this reaction AX plus E gives EAX which is again gives EXA which gives EX plus A. Now this EX plus A acts as a substrate for the second reaction and it will react with the reactant B to give EXB which again gives EBX which again gives E plus BX. Friends, in this reaction AX first binds to the enzyme E forming a binary complex EAX. X is usually a small group and does not participate in the reaction as a free molecule. So it is not regarded as a separate reactant. An intramolecular reorganization takes place the bond EX being formed and the XA bond being broken. The first product A then leaves before the second substrate arrives. B cannot bind to the enzyme E but can bind to the modified enzyme EX. Since only one substrate is present on the enzyme at any one time there may only be single binding site. Another intramolecular rearrangement takes place the bond BX being formed and the bond EX being broken. The second product BX is then liberated leaving the enzyme in the original form. The diagrammatic representation devised by Wallace Cleland shows the sequence of events as follows. So this is the diagrammatic representation given by the Wallace Cleland. The second mechanism is random order mechanism. A random order mechanism is one in which any substrate can bind first to the enzyme and any product can be leave first. It is a sequential mechanism and for a two substrate reaction involves the formation of ternary complex one involving enzyme and both substrates. So first in this reaction E binds with AX forms EAX then another substrate binds to this uh, compound which gives EAXB. Similarly E can bind with the B to form EB which again binds with the substrate AX to give EAX. B. So this EAXB will convert into EABX. From this product the BX will leave which gives EA as a product and finally E will separate from A. 
or PA will leave from this compound which gives complex EBX which is responsible for the formation of uh, product BX and free enzyme E. There will be two binding sites on the enzyme one for A or AX and one for B or BX. The third mechanism is compulsory order mechanism. A compulsory order or simply ordered mechanism is a sequential mechanism where the order of binding to and leaving the enzyme compulsory. For a two substrate reactions, a ternary complex will involve. The precise order must be specified. For example, E plus AX which gives EX complex. Then the another substrate B will bind to this complex which will give the complex E AX B which again converts into E A B X. The B X will leave and finally E A complex will form. Then the product A will form and E will leave. Or this reaction may proceed with E plus B which gives E B complex. Again the another substrate A X will add in this reaction which gives E B A X complex which will convert into E B X A complex. Now the product A will leave from this reaction which gives the complex E B X. Again the product B X will leave and it will separate the free enzyme E. In this case also as discussed before the enzyme will have separate binding sites for A or A X and B or B X. Thank you.